Hi, it's Kyle from Bytewing Games, and today we're learning how to play My Shelfie. If you've ever wanted a board game about collecting board games and cats, then look no further. The point of the game is to win, and you win by having the most points. Points are earned as you collect tiles, placing them on your shelf. On your turn, you will take tiles from the living room, placing these items on your shelf. You will have a personal objective of placing specific items in specific locations. You'll also earn points as you race to complete common objectives. And finally, you'll earn points by grouping items together on your shelf. Let's take a look at the setup. Place the living room board in the center of the play area. Shuffle the common goal cards. Randomly select two and return the remaining cards to the box. Place the scoring tokens onto the common goal card according to the number of players. Place the lowest number on the bottom, so the first player to achieve the objective earns the most points. And there is a number on the back of these tokens so that players can remember which objective they have already completed. So in our three player game, we'll make this objective one and use the four, six, and eight here. With objective two also receiving the four, six, and eight. The remaining scoring tiles can be returned to the box. Each player will take a shelf and like any good Kalex, I mean shelf, some assembly is required. Shuffle and distribute one personal goal card to each player. You even have a handy dandy standee to help keep your goal card visible to you, but not other players. Place the end game token onto its space on the board. Place all the item tiles into the bag and give it a good shake. Set out tiles on the board for the number of players, the three and four dots being used for a three and four player game. Randomly choose a start player, giving them the chair and you're ready to start the game. On your turn, you will draft one, two, or three tiles from the living room. But to take tiles, you can only take tiles that are in a vertical or horizontal row or column, and they have to have one side exposed when you began your turn. So let's look at an example. Here, you could take this tile, these tiles, or these tiles, but you couldn't take these tiles because they must be in a straight line. And you can't take these tiles because this tile doesn't have an exposed side when you start your turn. You will now place all of the tiles into a single column on your bookshelf. And you get to choose the order that you place the tiles into this column on your bookshelf. Now one thing to note, you can't take more tiles than you have room for. So in this case, you could take a max of two tiles from the central board. After your turn, the player to your left will do the same drafting tiles and placing them in their bookshelf. You'll take turns around and around until one player has filled their entire bookshelf, at which point the game ends. When the living room has four or fewer tiles remaining at the end of your turn, return those tiles to the bag and refill the board based on the number of players. As you place tiles onto your shelf, make sure you pay attention to your personal objective card. There are six item types, and you will earn points if you place these specific items into their designated spaces. The more items in the correct locations, the more points. When you end your turn, if you have completed one of the common objectives, you will also take the top scoring token for having completed that objective. Once a player has filled their entire bookshelf, the game end is triggered. You'll continue until you get back to the starting player, so that all players have an even number of turns and the player who triggered the end of the game will take the bonus one point from the living room. On to final scoring. You will score points for your personal objective card, the common objective tiles that you've completed, and you will also score for grouping items together. Let's take a look at a few examples. Amanda has four tiles in the correct spots, so she earns six points for her personal goal card. She scores 12 points for common objectives, she has a group of five plants, which earns her five points, a group of three trophies, earning her two points, a group of four cats for three points, and a group of seven board games for eight points. Total your points and the player with the most points wins. And now you know how to play my shelfie. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Until next time.